Hey guys, welcome to Awesome Cast number 90 from the studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. I am Mike Sorg, back again. And, uh, oh yeah, there's my title. This is me. Hi, Mike. This is me. Hi. Uh, on the couch with me is Chachi. You, you forgot to say where we're recording from. Pittsburgh, PA. Yes. I said that. No, you didn't. Uh, yeah. Sure. Chachi is recording from the couch. I am on the couch. Yes, he is. How are you doing this week, Chach? I am well. Excellent, excellent. And also, uh, uh, Rob De La Creta Ooh. is uh, having a battle with high fructose corn syrup, from what I understand. He is syrupy. Is, uh, he's syrupy? That's why I put in the notes. Mm. It says, Rob status, high fructose corn syrupy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. But joining us back on the show for the first time in a long time, and recently relocated to New oh. Jersey, of all places, which I think is where the name of this show originated, honestly. Yeah. So... Uh. Is Malengo Akbo Sambe? How you doing? Good. So, uh, how's that GTL going? Oh, it's going great. Yeah. You know, I, if you can if you can see the tan, it's doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So how how is your move to Jersey? You're you're still doing animation out there, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm still <laughs> yeah. I'm still doing the work. <laughs> so excellent excellent but of course you're also doing uh mangtoons.com uh for yep. all your other stuff anybody wants to check out what's going on there uh and we're gonna of course this is the awesome cast uh where we get techie we get we we, we go with it we uh, see uh what stories are out there sometimes we talk to some people uh from around town and uh and uh you know you can join us here, uh, awesomecast.com. The final past episodes, or uh, drop us a line at contact at awesomecast.com. Twitter us at awesomecast. We're also on Google Plus and uh, your Facebook pages. We can continue the conversation from these episodes afterwards. Uh, or join us in the chat here uh, live every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. We got a few people in there like uh, Hot Wheels, Riz, Sonic Screwdriver, uh, keeping us entertained right now. Uh, and, and drop us some stories because it's kind of been one of those weeks where it's like, oh, what, what do you talk about? So we, we put it out to the people uh, to see what's going on there. Um, also, we were submitted a story like with uh, WPAJ Juggalo John on the Twitters. Uh, now, Chachi, this is a story that you're mostly interested in. Can you, you tell us about it? No, play the video. Well, I'm not going to play the whole video. Play, no, seriously, play the video. <laughs> it's a good video. It is. Play the video. I don't have... Okay, I'll play... It's like two minutes. So? Okay. It's a good two minutes. Nice. All right, here we go. Here, it, this, this is the story that was yeah. sent to the us. The most ridiculous thing about this proposed cooling off system is that while you're playing your game, it'll just shut down your system automatically. You cut out and there half goes my the story. Skyrim, Dunkaroos, and Coke Zero marathon. But apparently, gamers can log back in after only 10 minutes of rest. 10 minutes? Korea, that's perfect. That's just enough time for a potty break, a Coke Zero reload. And it leaves enough time for a four minute nicely paired easy mat. The law itself doesn't seem to do much. Then again, the lawmakers in general haven't actually found any scientific proof that links gaming to death. Thank God American lawmakers have tried to pass stuff like this and have been unsuccessful. I mean, if they have no proof, what are you going based off of then? Hey, that kid looks like he games too much, so... So you get the idea there. So Korea's doing this thing. So Chachi, you, you've been following on this. Right? Uh, so Korea's passing a law where uh, anyone under the age of 16 uh, is not allowed to play video games from uh, midnight to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently they're, they're, they're trying to put in some kind of tracker where it can track how long you've been playing video games for, and at the 24-hour mark, it'll shut your console off. <laughs> it sounds like your, your marathon. Yeah. It, and so, But apparently it, they're being dumb about it, because after 10 minutes, you can turn your console back on and start playing again. So it kind of defeats the purpose, because like the fat bearded man said, <laughs> it, that's just enough time to go to the bathroom, refill your drink, and grab a snack. So, yeah. You know, are, there, are there intervals of like X amount of time before it shuts off again for... 10 minute break? I have no idea. I, this is the only place I found this Well, this is story. just a law. They, they, yeah. It hasn't been technically implemented. No, yet. So it's there's not. a lot that could happen here. Yeah. And, and I can't imagine. I, I don't. South Korea, it, it's. I don't know how. I know they're crazy for their StarCraft. 
I mean, this is one of those like China. I think also is is this way where where they you've had those couple of stories where somebody has passed out or died from playing Warcraft for like days straight. You know, so if it was going to be anywhere, you know, I, is this the equivalent of our sopas here in the states? You think sopa? No. Like, like something something ridiculous that there's no like technical bearing behind it that that some politician is is just putting out there. Yeah, you, you that's th- exactly what this is. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call it our sopa, but yeah, it's just it's uh, a ridiculous law that some government official is trying to pass. Uh, because for some reason they think people are dying left and right from staying up too long and playing video games. <laughs> so, I, I yet, think, like the nice lady said, there's no scientific data. <laughs> the very fine lady in the video. <laughs> yes, uh, here, I, the I lady, just... the lady standing next to the fat bearded man in the video box said that there is no scientific data to prove that these people are dropping dead. <laughs> And nothing makes a lady look prettier than a fat bearded man in a video talking about Cheetos. Um, I, you know, I just did I don't a, think you meant just Cheetos. Whatever. Uh, I just said <laughs> Easy Mac. I remember the Easy Mac. Yeah. Um, I, I just like just punched in something about South Korean video games, and and this looks like a, a another. No, there's there's they're they're mandating a six hour nightly cur- curfew for uh, nineteen online role playing games. Right. That account for 79% of the Korea online game market. So this is actually from the other end. This is the, well, you don't have to worry about time zones in South Korea. It's not that big. Uh, so you shut it down for s- six hours a night when everybody should be sleeping. Right. And you just, which is the prime time to play these games. Not really. Is it, when, when do you play Call of Duty? When do I play Call of Duty? Yeah. Um, if it weren't for every waiting for everyone else to play Call of Duty, mm-hmm. I would play Call of Duty from probably five to nine. Okay, like mm-hmm. that would be my prime. And then time. when does everybody actually get together to play Call of Duty? We get together at nine to play Call of Duty on Friday. Yeah, and play on Friday until nights. one or two in the morning. Yeah, the curfew would kill yeah, us. That sounds right. Yeah, that's about the time I would play. Like when I played Call of Duty, that was about the time when I got home from work around six o'clock. I play till about nine, and then I'd get on with other people and play till about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Apparently, so, yeah. apparently, all the rest of us are waiting for the wives and the kids to fall asleep. So, yeah, I don't have that problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, and more, more crazy video game news. Great. Yeah. Uh, so, slow, you were talking about slow, slow clap for Korea. Thank you, Korea, for giving some hope. Okay. <laughs> now you've been looking at the PlayStation Vita, sir. I just their commercials. Yeah, yeah. It's dumb. <laughs> What's your opinion of it, though? Well, Other than they're dumb. I mean, I the mean. only thing they're pushing on this handheld device is that the fact that you can pause your PS3, pick up the PS the the PSP Vita, and continue where you left off on your PS3. Now, uh, for the Vita game. Yeah. This no, is- no, it's the same game. Okay. Wait, so I have to have a copy of it on, but but it would be digital. I, so I have to have a copy of it, and it works on both yes. systems. Yes, but but is it like I have? Is it like a universal app for the iPad, iPhone? It, it's a it's full sized and proper on this screen, and has the better graphics for the iPad. Uh, you know how how does that that work out? You don't know the technical information. No, I am watching still, a commercial. That's the concept. That's the concept. The only feature they're pushing on this little device mm-hmm. is the fact that you can pause your PS3, pick this up, and keep playing where you paused. Nice Which man. means the only thing they're pushing is geared towards people that have both. It is. I, I dropped on, the, it looks like the official uh, page for this, and it is the first thing they say. Right! <laughs> Never stop playing. Discover new ways to play uh, biggest and best games. I mean, they're, they're banking on, uh, you know, Stuff like Uncharted, big games, your Madden games, you know, not not so much. Stuff the, I'm going to play on the 360. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, Malango, you're you're a PS3 guy last I knew. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do, what do you think of the Vita? Has the Vita been on your radar at all? No, not at all. I've never, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean See? But, he I mean, has a PS3 back. and he doesn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the problem with me is, uh. I'm one of those gamers who is still, if I'm going to play on a gaming like system, I'm going to play on a system. 
I, I'm never going to play Uncharted on a mobile device. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'd rather keep my mobile devices to games that I can finish in two minutes and then move on. So I've always took that stance, and like all of PlayStation's mobile things are stupid. The one thing about Vita, though, that I mean, a lot has been going around the tech uh, community that I still think is weird is I, I think it should be a phone, if anything, and compete against Apple if they're going to do that. I mean, the specs are definitely more impressive than what an Apple mobile device is uh, capable of doing, although I'm sure with Unity's upgrades and things like uh, the other big engine, which I can't think of right now. Uh, Unreal? Unreal, yeah. I mean, I'm sure with development over time and the progression of Apple's devices anyway and mobile devices in general, it just makes no sense why the Vita isn't a mobile device to get into that market now. While the technology is so advanced it is. and superior, but I mean, whatever. This is PlayStation. They're the ones that lost our emails to hacking and decided not to tell us about it. Yeah. So yeah. The, the only thing that's separating this from a mobile device, anyhow, is a phone app. Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. I'm sure you can get Skype on it. I, I'm pretty sure you did on the old one when everybody hacked it. But I mean, the, I mean, it's got basically like half of the same stuff. And there's the crossplay you're talking about. Uh, it, it really has like a lot of the features you see in a in a in a iPhone. Uh, there's a crossplay. There's a it's got GPS in it, a rear touchpad. What well, is it? The three G connectivity, which is where the screen, uh... six axis motion con- motion sensor. Uh, which is pretty much like motion control gaming in the in the iPhone, I, I think. Um, front and rear cameras. I mean, they're they're making a play. They're like, yeah, it's the it's a PlayStation full on PlayStation games like you're used to from the PSP. Uh, but you know, but we have all these other features and and more connectivity, and they're trying to you know uh, play off what we're kind of expecting. I think from our our gaming phones, you know. And plus, you see them playing with stuff like the Asperia Play, where they have the PlayStation phone uh, as well. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a. I, I really think that they just kind of passed by because who's playing this? <laughs> I mean, who no who sits who has uh, the only the only use case I've seen is somebody says, "Well, do, what if, if if you took the train in uh, to work every day? Would this fit for you?" You know, it's like you know, it seems too big. It seems too much. You know. The only, the only way, like, my Game Boy made sense is when I went on car rides with my parents. It gave you something to do. And, and, and the people these games are, and Uncharted is aimed for, you know, are usually driving cars. Right. So. It's dumb. <laughs> but, I don't know, it's interesting. It's an interesting play, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Too bad yeah. the PlayStation 3 wasn't doing better for it to ride off of that. So. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Uh, what's going on with Netflix there, Malengo? <laughs> I know you're reading some of this story. I don't know. You know, to be honest, okay, after I read it again, mm-hmm. just the, the first time, I think, just by default, I always want to hate Comcast. So, I mean, by nature of it, every time I see anything, I'm like, they must be screwing something. They're, they must be screwing someone over. And sticking it, you know, in somebody's ass with a rusty whatever. Uh, wow. But after reading this, it seems like Comcast has to do this. And it's kind of funny because, all right, so I, I wrote down some pros and cons to this. The pros, apparently they've been losing customers. I mean, I thought this was, I, I hadn't seen any statistical facts about this. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they're claiming that uh, they've been losing about, let's see, last year they lost 459,000 customers uh, to just dropping dropping their service, uh, canceling subscriptions, and I guess they're assuming that they're going to Netflix or other internet-based uh, you know, subscribers. There's no, real, there's no way to really know. I, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing just by the fact that they're, they're claiming they lost these customers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Underwriting a Netflix uh, subscription for $5, okay. But then here's what gets me. Comcast bought NBC, okay? 
And now they're going to charge $5 for you to be able to get instant streaming for it. So is this $5 excluded from what Xfinity is? So is it still you're canceling your, your cable subscription for five dollars to be able to get access to something that you should be able to get. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so they're the, they're looking. So, if I don't have my cable subscription, like I don't have now, I could I could pay five dollars to get access to what a channel or a group of channels here. Well, they're saying all of their content except for HBO. It looks like CBS, Showtime. And whoa, 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 whoa. I can get I can get uh, uh, the full complement of cable content. Over the computer for five dollars. That's what they're claiming. Without for $5. A, without it with that without a cable subscription. I'm not. That's what that's what they're saying. Internet streaming service to to fight uh, includes high speed internet access and over the phone to compete so, like I guess solely with Netflix. And this is the stream picks announcement that they're talking about. Yeah. And now it, it looks like it's. Uh, it, it, they say it's going to have much of the video uh, overlapping video. What's already with Netflix? So this really seems like more. This is like a Netflix streaming deal. With exactly. It. That's that's okay. So th- this is like their own library of stuff. You know, it, it's really to the point where. Um, it, 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 yeah, there's going to be this overlap because they they mentioned here the Office Lost, which is which are programs that are available both on my Netflix and Hulu, both that I pay eight dollars each for. Yeah, I'm not. Pay- I mean, I'm not paying for that access. I'm paying for to fill the gaps. So if these guys step up and they have all the content that I'm missing from Hulu and uh, and Netflix, like maybe the current season of How I Met Your Mother, I I think I would gladly drop another five dollars on it. It would well, hypothetically, hypothetically, if that's what they were doing. But if they're sitting there for five dollars and 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 not produ- you know providing half as much as what Netflix is that's that's kind of still a tough sell. It's not going to draw me away from Netflix at least. Yeah, if anything it makes me just buy both of them. Yeah, which uh, either way you're you're giving money back to Comcast. So they win in the end. So it almost seems like it's more to retain some of the profits that would just be flat out lost. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe if if I call Comcast and I say, "You know what?" I'm done with subscription, you know, I'm getting all of this stuff on Netflix and Apple TV. They say, but wait, you know, for $5, uh, we can do this. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, maybe you're right. Just to fill in those, those gaps and holes. I mean, with Comcast buying NBC and, and having a lot of the contracts for, uh, you know, television broadcasting, there, there could be a lot of stuff that Netflix just can't get like HGTV, stuff like that, maybe, mm-hmm. that, you know, the wife is like, oh, you can't cancel cable because I watch Home and Garden Network or whatever <laughs> crap. So, you know, I mean, I guess this is worth saying, but I'm always weary of Comcast. They find ways to just, yeah. Screw it up. Although, you know, in the sense of good old competition, maybe this might drive down those prices to Netflix. Well, I, do you really have a problem with the Netflix prices? I mean, a lot of people rose to think about it, but I, I gladly drop sixteen dollars on having both the DVDs and the and, and the and the streaming. You know, it, it makes sense. Again, it's it's it, I look at it as another service that's filling the gaps. Yeah, I think the only thing that I mean, the only thing for me is. When I look at it, I think, okay, for five dollars, I can go see a matinee movie. Yeah, um, you know, just wake up extremely early. So I feel like that's always a compromise. The the three extra dollars is just the convenience of instead of having to get into my car and go to a theater, maybe I just you know walk out and it's there in a the red envelope, and I'm sipping on my coffee in my underwear, scratching my balls. I don't know. <laughs> Great. And we just went to R. And there we went. <laughs> we were riding the line. We don't have we don't have we don't have Rob here to keep it together for us. So um, let's see. It, it, well, like Sonic says, uh, sixteen dollars isn't much, but it was a sixty percent hike in price principle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah. But you were getting a, you were getting a deal, you know. And 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 and, and it, it, I think it's tougher if you still have cable. That that's a little harder to swallow if you still have cable. What's wrong, Josh? I, I I'm sick 
of people pointing yeah. out that it was a 60% increase in price. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because that number... No, steal. no. That number is convoluted. Mm-hmm. You cannot say that. That misrepresents the amount of money that it was actually increased. Mm-hmm. That's like saying that the uh, 42 cent stamps went up Thirty percent in price. Wait a minute. What are we? What were we paying? You had Netflix. What were we paying for our one disc stuff before the price hike? It was like ten dollars, wasn't yeah. it? it? You was... got you got uh, instant and one disc. Yeah, yeah. It... Uh, my my price went up two dollars. Whoop de doo. Two dollars, really? It was seven. I I did just streaming. It was seven ninety nine for just streaming. Yeah, yeah. It's up to nine ninety nine. Yeah. And now they split them, and now it's it's like sixteen dollars because it's seventy nine nine a piece. Yeah, I don't get discs. Yeah, you just, I just do streaming. It made you make the decision to get rid of the discs. No, no. Me forgetting to mail back the discs <laughs> made me make the decision to get. And rid that's of the what discs. it was. I really think that they. Uh, this is an old argument. I, I, we, I know we talked about like back then, but that's really what they did. It, it was that that thing to say. No, no, no. We no, have all what? these stocks. Listen. We have these all these people that supposedly have the DVD thing. It's a lot. It, it, they obviously want to get out of the DVDs because, right, because it's a dying media. And, 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 yeah, and, and sitting on all those factories and having to deal with them. Um, so it was that right thing to shake people up to say, "Man, I really don't watch those discs that are coming to my door and been sitting there on my coffee table for four months." Right? What am I paying for it? I'm definitely not going to pay eight dollars a month for that privilege. Um, so, so it kind of worked Chris out. had a copy of Kung Fu Panda, like two <laughs> for like three months. From Netflix, because she kept forgetting to return it. And apparently this has been a thing. Well, you know, it's been really hard to get That's it. That's why your your stuff went up. You know, it's a re- it's really, yeah, exactly. You know, it's really hard to... Uh, to, to Not just her, it's, but it's, I mean everyone. It's been really hard to get a DVD subscription lately. Like, you, if you went to a site, didn't have a subscription, and wanted to start a DVD subscription. I, I started one for my dad back around... Uh, geez, that was, it was uh, the end of summer. So, But if you were like Christmas, you want to get one for your, your you know, for your parents or something um you couldn't get it you had you had to dig in there to find it they, they were they don't want mostly to do it. not providing they just brought it back right they don't want um, to do it but they just brought it back so I, I think there was enough demand i know i'm seeing a lot of kind of lacking in their library certain things are kind of disappearing like uh random random uh discs from like like beast wars or something like that like ser- that's ser- that's all licensing problems you because no, if you went is in it, no 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 i'm talking about the dvds there's nothing licensing about the dvds it's you have the dvd you went buy it from walmart you know redbox uh, just said no we're not going to do the two three month whatever thing warner brothers wanted to do they said no we'll just get it we just won't get them wholesale from you because nothing stops you from buying that dvd and using it as a rental even just bought a stack from walmart you could do that I, uh, they're, they're legally uh, able to do that. Well, I mean, there's certain episodes of certain TV shows that they won't put on Netflix. Well, that's different because streaming is a different right. If it's already on the DVD, like you know, Quantum Leap, like some have music rights. No. But I'm talking about like they're not replenished. Like they had Being Human in the DVD queue, and they had it for a couple months. And not, but no, I mean, there's certain episodes that you can't get no matter what. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I'm going to use this because I was looking, but uh, the Roseanne show. Mm-hmm. There was a span of four episodes in the middle of the series that you mm-hmm. couldn't get on instant or on disc. Okay. They just weren't available. So, I mean, that's not that's not them not having it. It's a uh, No, no, that's I'm talking about things that they had available and are disappearing. Like there there there's so many things in my list that have just been knocked to the save, which means it's pretty much like a dead zone for DVDs coming back in Netflix at this point. So I mean, you're definitely seeing that they're laying off people at those at those those uh, shipping facilities left and right. You know. But it's... back to my original point, I refuse to accept there there was a sixty percent increase in price as an argument for anything regarding Netflix. Mm-hmm. Okay, I refuse. Do not throw that number at me because I will laugh at you. Okay. Because. Yeah. Moving on. Moving you know, the on. other question I have real quick about the whole Netflix <laughs> and DVDs being a dead uh, thing. <laughs> I mean, we all have computers and all have CD trays. Mm-hmm. So I understand this, the, the nice little fact of streaming, but it, it still says something to be able to have a physical 
medium there that you can put into the, into your computer directly and watch a video. I mean, if I'm at an airport that doesn't offer free Wi-Fi, then I mean, I don't know. It's just it just seems. So you feel like there always always needs to be something physical there for for you to uh, to to watch that on. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like DVDs are. I understand that DVDs are not the way of the future, but I wouldn't say that they're mm. dead. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I mean, yeah. then again, I didn't say they were dead. No, I just no, said no. they're dying. They're, they're, they're definitely dying off because more people are moving to the, between Blu-rays and all these sources of, of streaming content or yeah. black boxes or something like that. Um, it, it's a, and it, it'll be a long time coming, and you're going to have all those people that are on the other side of the digital divide that are they are going to still do DVDs long after uh, because they don't have any other option. So uh, it, it's just they're 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 working into more of a, a commodity, really. You know, you're seeing you, you're seeing the selection of the of the three dollar bin at Walmart growing. Which yeah. remember when VHSs were going out. You, it's the same thing. You, I, you know how many VHSs we grabbed from Walmart when, uh, when they were dying off. It was like, yeah, I'll pick up, you know, the Fifth Element for two bucks. Why not, right? Well, why not? Because I don't have a VCR that hooked up to my big TV, or when if I do hook it up to my my LCD TV, it looks horrible. I yeah. own, I only own the Star Wars trilogy, both the original and the special edition on VHS. Yeah. Yeah. So then it goes back to, well, do you want this hard copy of your movie on a disc or do you that, have space to select, and, keep and, buying hard drives? And, 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 you know, and great. It's, um, you know, you, you bought your physical copy, but you, yeah, are you going to have DVDs in another five, 10 years? You know, are you going to point <laughs> where they don't sell them anymore? You know, and it's and I have this this piece of plastic on a on a on a shelf that really doesn't mean anything. You know, great you you have this big collection of DVDs that you can't use unless you rip them. Oh, like, that's illegal. So oh yeah, that's technically, true. Um, you know it, it's it's oh that's a big question. You know, and and now now we've gone to this thing where well now I own it as bits or I own it in the cloud, which means somebody else has to somebody else is the gatekeeper to my ownership of this thing. You know, we, yeah, we talked that, awesome. about that with, with Steam. I, I don't know how many games I own on Steam. And, and all I do is look at my list. It's like, yeah, I want to play this game. Hit the thing. And it's downloaded by the next day. And I'll play it for a few weeks. You know, I, I don't have to keep things in my house anymore. Um, but if anything ever happens to Steam, I'm screwed. There goes all my video game playing. You know, same thing with this ultraviolet stuff. Really, we have to depend on the music movie studio to 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 decide that I bought this DVD. Therefore, I have the right to watch it on all these devices, like by whatever calls they have. Ubisoft. They, there was a thing with Ubisoft where it wasn't one of the Assassin's Creed games. You have the physical disc, but for whatever reason, it needs to call home to Ubisoft for a one player game. And it didn't work one weekend and you couldn't play the game that you owned the disc for. Yeah, you know the lines are blurring. It's getting really scary. So yeah, he's just, I'm not scared. So I, I, I'm embracing my my iCloud overlords, but but you know, but I, I you see the storm on the horizon. Or I'm not scared. At, at some point, this is going to go south. Not scared. Know? So not scared. Not scared at all, Josh. Nope. You you're putting it all in the cloud. It's there. You, you're putting your, your. It's all there. It's all there. Up there in the cloud. So if I want something, I just reach up and grab it. <laughs> exactly. It's there. Speaking of iCloud stuff, there was a, a big kind of surprise in this past week. Mountain Lion. And now Chachi is going to tune out, I think. But I, I think I think Malengo. You, Malengo, you're a new Mac user, aren't you? I already tuned out. Uh, kind of, yeah. Well, you bought your first Mac. Yeah, I did. Uh, have you been uh, looking at this Mountain Lion stuff? What what is the mountain lion stuff? It's the it, it's it's the next. It's in the show notes. Uh, it, it's the next uh, Mac OS. Oh wait, it's not Mac OS X. It's just OS X. They're not calling it Mac anymore. Uh, basically, it's the next step. It, they're they're putting it out about. It looks like it's going to come up this summer. So first of all, it looks like OS X is going the yearly cycle <laughs> like we see with the iOS. They're okay. introducing. Um, Notes is coming over from iPad and iPhone. Uh, notifications like we're seeing in the light, latest iOS. Uh, iMessage, 
which you know we've been playing around with the you know iMessage that that you know can go to your iPad. It's not on the on as an alternative to text messaging. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have a beta out already. If you're running Lion, you can you can go download. I've been playing with it a little bit actually, uh, with my wife. So uh, it sounds dirty. It does sound dirty. Oh, and it has Gchat. I've been playing it with with you too, sir. It still sounds dirty. <laughs> how, much, how much is this bad boy gonna run me? Uh, probably another thirty dollars if if uh, if the pattern holds true. But uh, I, you know, it, it just seems like a it, it seems like just kind of a, 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 a modest update. Rawr. That's my mountain lion roar. Is that, that's your mountain lion yeah. roar. Rawr. Yeah, this seems. Uh, this seems like yeah. This seems like a pretty simple update. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know. Does it seem like maybe this is just me? Does it seem like Apple just isn't wowing me anymore? Like. There's no wow factor to anything anymore. Well, well there's nothing. Factor. There's nothing new because you already own an iPhone. Oh, this is doing it. Game Center is going to be a part of this now. Um, you know, it, they're uh, they're uh, <laughs> you're you're an iPad 2s. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I mean, it's what it's going to be. It, it, it's just they're they're merging all the stuff they've been working on together finally. Uh, like we've already been seeing with the app store and everything. There's these, there's a new uh, gatekeeper thing that's going on with this, where uh, it's going to be on by default. And uh, it, it, if you leave it, if you don't leave it, turn it off or anything. Basically, you can only install things that are approved by Apple. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, that just sounds great. That just, just more like, privacy. Which, which really, I want my mom to not worry about that in the long run. You know. That's why I bought her an iPad, because I know she's not going to get screwed with an Android device by downloading something fishy. Yeah, but then so again, same reason I want, the Same reason tech. I want her to have a Mac versus a PC, because she's going to find all the malware, you know? Oh. This way it blocks out all the malware. Listen, don't blame the platform, because your mom's not smart enough to click something <laughs> that's <laughs> suspicious. Okay. <laughs> Just because it has the Windows colors in the goddamn logo does not make it a Microsoft product. Okay, okay. So don't blame the platform because your parents are moron. Uh. <laughs> and I say the same thing about my parents, too. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It's not just your parents. It's Don't blame the platform because your parents aren't smart enough to use their common sense. Okay, okay. But... but, but. Not everybody's smart enough to operate a computer, Chachi. And so you're telling me that just because they're not smart enough to operate the computer, that they're not smart enough to distinguish the fact that Microsoft doesn't use a shield as their logo? Mm -hmm. Therefore, when a big flashing ad pops up saying, you're infected, you're infected, you're infected, you should Why do you think it? they do that? Why do you think they do that? They do that because it works on a lot of people. And uh, th that's why... That's why I Don't blame the platform. It's not the plat. Well, is it the platform's fault? Is it is it the platform's fault for being too popular? It's it's kind of the price for that in the long run. Yeah. He's an, he's just being an angry IT guy tonight. Um, oh, one of the cool things, one of the actually intriguing uh, applications that I see here, that is one of the the conversations I've been having with a couple of developers I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Is I do like the integration of Game Center mm -hmm. and with with this new thing, and it seems like the that you can still compete across platforms. Mm -hmm. Which, even though it's within the uh, the Apple uh, spectrum of things, I it's your, it's, I think that's your, good. It's your Apple Alive in the long run. Yeah. So I, which they've never had anything like that. They've never had like a, a Windows Live kind of thing. They've never had. I mean, Steam is the closest thing they have right now on that platform, and even that's limited because they only have so many games on it. Um, but but bringing that bringing that across and giving a reason, you know, it's, it's another reason to tie back to the Mac, you know, for all the people that were introduced to Apple products because of the iOS device. Mm -hmm. So um, the, other, the other interesting things is it might give it a reason to up graphics, graphical display. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you can play certain games on your iMac or on your, you know, your your laptop, whatever, through Game Center, mm -hmm. and then carry on a certain aspect of that game later on onto your mobile device and continue playing. 
Yeah, yeah, it, 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 that whole idea of them handshaking each other. Yeah. Um, some other stuff, Twitter integration, like we've been seeing in iOS, is, is going to be a part of this. Twitter's uh, not dead yet? Twitter? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you been on Twitter lately? No, he hasn't. <laughs> Apparently you haven't. <laughs> I figured when I left, it was just the end. Oh, oh, yeah, because they knew you left, right. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> oh, and that's man. the big question because there's no Facebook integration. Where's the Facebook integration and all this stuff? I mean, you still have iPhoto, but uh, but apparently, like to the point where you bring up a document, if you can bring it, basically they were saying if you can bring up a document in preview, you can share it on Twitter. Hmm. That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? That is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so LeBron James is going to be tweeting a lot more stupid stuff. Yes. Here, look at this. You yeah. Know? <laughs> what, what I was doing on my day off. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, exactly. Or uh, or that, that Senator Wiener guy. Um, more, more stuff like that going on. Um, wow. Airplay mirroring. That's pretty Airplay cool. Airplay mirroring from your from your laptop now or your whatever, whatever Mac that you have there. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So I, I will say, though, the other day I was in the Best Buy. And uh, they were showing, like, kind of not the AirPlay, but they were showing the uh, Thunderbolt connection mm. between an, a Mac Air and the, just this monitor. Which, at first, I was like, is this the TV, the Apple TV? And I'm like, wait, I don't, I don't know if that's... All right, so, I, I, you know, I call over a guy, and the guy's like, yeah, we just wanted to show how cool the Thunderbolt is and can connect to this monitor. By the way, this monitor is $900. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a problem for a while with that. Like, what? And it's not, and I think it was the Apple TV, and it wasn't mm. that big. Well, it was probably like one of those cinema displays in the long run here. Yeah, probably. So, it was, that was just like I don't know. It's a it's a modest update. I'll probably drop my $30 on it just to get the cool little features, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I've been waiting for I, I was waiting for an update for like iMessage because I, I didn't even know if iChat was still a part of it. You know, we used to use it a lot at work uh, to yeah. communicate. Uh, but you know, I'm just like, oh yeah, where's that thing? Because we're we, we already have the messages between iOS devices uh, as it is, and uh, and here they are. Oh wow, the entire screen slides across when you go to notifications. That's interesting. Um, and, and finally, the notes that I'm taking on my on my iPad that go up into the cloud uh, from my from my one job now they go somewhere and I can bring them down on, on my Mac. I mean, it's, it it seems to make sense. It, it seemed to be uh, something that was missing there. So. Um, but uh, yeah, it's. This, I don't think you're going to see any large strides at this point until uh, everybody gets tired of iOS. But as long as they're still selling iPads more than anybody else and iPhones keeping up with everything, I mean, I think they're still like you know one of the top manufacturers of a single phone at this point. So there's there's no really reason for them to change at this point. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> People are sending me videos to cheer up Chachi. <laughs> Listen, as soon as you guys stop talking about Max, I'll be good. <laughs> exactly. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Google. Uh, you guys been following this Google privacy issue yep. going on this week? Was this with the? Uh, is this with the Google Wallet thing? I didn't hear about the wallet thing. Uh, the one I was hearing of was, uh, I think, revolved around the plus one button. Hmm. Uh, basically, uh, how, how I got it was that, uh, you know, Safari starts with uh, no cookies allowed as a default. You know, much like we're going to have the gatekeeper on by default in this new OS. Uh, thanks, Apple. Uh, it, it's apparently uh, uh, the, the gurus at Google um, uh, worked around it so that the plus button will still work around that. Uh, basically, I guess just circumventing that and still using co anonymous cookies. Uh, which has gotten a lot of people pissed off at that, uh, including I guess Internet Explorer said that they've been doing the same. Uh, Google's been do, doing the same thing to their their uh, browser as well. You don't like it, don't use it. If you're plus wanting something, then obviously you like what you're plus wanting. Mm -hmm. Therefore, sure. you get a cookie. <laughs> And then, yeah, that's the that's the thing. But it, but still, it, it's it, it's something that you explicitly turned off at some point. Doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. If you go on a website... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Just because I don't understand how the internet works, I shouldn't use it? Right. Because if I go and I see a little button that says plus one... If you don't understand how the internet works, you shouldn't use it. (laughs) Okay. Um... But they're in trouble. I think I, I am shutting it off. I think already Congress, the Congress is is asking for an inquiry, which it seems like they they have a hard line into Google every time anything questionable comes up at this point. So um, I'm shutting off the you're internet. shutting off the internet. Yeah, uh, changing the password. Oh, you guys are screwed. But uh, I, I don't know. Are, are you worried about this? Are you worried about like Google? Circumventing your your browser security. I mean, I leave, no. I don't I don't have really high security on my browser, so I'm not going to ask. You know what a cookie it. does? The, the people the people don't know. They just know they're supposed to be scared of the cookies. It goes in my belly. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> now you're an IT guy. You you deal with this kind of stuff all the time. Right? Cookies do n- you you don't have to avoid cookies. Mm-hmm. Cookies bookmark a page. They make that page load faster the next time you go there. Mm-hmm. Therefore, they are nothing to be afraid of. But what? There are malicious cookies, right? Oh yes, that's what we're afraid of. Don't go to those websites. <laughs> but they can hang out and in, in, uh, you can go to a trusted website and their ad network. This actually happened before with DoubleClick and, and a few other ones, mm-hmm. where the ads they serve have these malicious cookies. Here's a helpful tip: mm-hmm. just because the ad at the top of the page says "click here for your free iPad." Mm-hmm. <laughs> doesn't mean you should click there for your free <laughs> iPad. Hey, I have like 12 iPads coming my way because I clicked on those. Right. As and soon gave, as, your, and as gave soon, your social security number and phone number. As and, soon as three of your friends <laughs> go to that web page and fill out the information. Oh, man. Exactly. The internet is not for stupid people. <laughs> but it's accessible to stupid people. So so so, so are guns and they shouldn't be. <laughs> the internet doesn't kill he people. People kill thing. people. Uh, you got me there. You got me there, huh? Uh, so at that point, well, uh let's let's go ahead and wrap it up at that point here. Uh <laughs> Wow. Uh, oh, here, let's let's go on a lighter note. Chachi, I've been using Pinterest after you guys convinced me to use Pinterest last last week and told me I've been using it wrong. Apparently, Pinterest is also not supposed to be available to stupid people, including me. Um, but, uh, uh, Malingo, have you been using this? You're holding it no. wrong. No? <laughs> you, you are not? <laughs> well... As I went on there, and a friend of ours, Don Pabuk, is on there, and, and, and I just get, like, half a page of tiaras. And I'm like, okay, now I know I can turn the tiaras off. Uh, so, I mean, it's gotten a little more interesting and useful. Uh, but really, it's just little things. You're, you're right. It just seems like little things that I would throw on a, on a Tumblr page or something. It's like it's yeah. like my own Tumblr page. So, uh And I've got it. I've got it. It's, it's like how you thumbs up and thumbs down something in Pandora, it seems. Uh, but it, but it added so many people that I don't that I don't know who they are and I don't know why it's added them. So uh, it's been interesting to call there. But uh, yeah, is, is your wife on on Pinterest? Lingo? Oh, he's frozen. <laughs> Well, Malango is oh, gone. Man. So, uh, well, <laughs> on that point, we'll give him a plug here. I scared his back. You did. You you scared his Google into submission here. Wow, that's impressive. You're holding it wrong. Obviously, we are. I ended the video chat. That's BS, right there. Uh, well, you can check out Malango if he doesn't come back. <laughs> the internet is not for stupid. People. Why is there a phone ring when I'm video calling him? Oh, it's going to his phone. That's why. So it happens when everything goes through one one funnel like that. Well, Malengo, he's over at uh, Mangtunes.com. If you can check out the work, if you want to check out the work that uh, he's been doing over there, uh, and uh, and it looks like he's he's surviving there, other than his internet over in New Jersey, I guess. Uh, Chachi, you are at. I'm not doing anything anymore. You're not doing anything anymore? Because uh, you shut down the internet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. He's coming back. He's coming back on the wrong computer again. I, uh, I changed the password on the internet. <laughs> I had to I had to send it to Malingo so he could get back in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's back. He's 
You won't believe what I did. What'd you do? I went to Pinterest or that pin thing you were talking about. <laughs> I did it in the Google Talk window. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Awesome. Uh, not impressed. Not impressed because it made you end your call. Hey, where are you, where's your stuff at? What you got going on? You I already, am in the dark right now. You already said all of Give me in the dark. Stuff. Can you hear me? Yeah. No. Okay. But, uh, you can't find me. Oh. Go to oh. There's banktoons.com. There's some stuff there. Go to banktoons.com. You'll start to see stuff. I, mean, I am doing some cool projects right now. And hopefully I'll be able to talk to them later or talk to people about them later if anything ever You're in that generates. you're in that mysterious zone like Rob's always in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, they are some cool projects and hopefully I'll be able to talk to people about them. Awesome. If they ever get them. Awesome. And like I said, Chachi's at Chachi says dot net. Not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Nope. Okay. Internet password's been changed. I'll see you all bastards later right you can uh get back at us our our password if you can get into the internet you can email us over at contact at awesomecast.com uh also twitter us at awesomecast you can uh uh <laughs> you're not going to be able to get into the internet though, so apparently you won't be able to do this but i'll say it anyways <laughs> you can join us live if you can get on the internet at live dot us or sorgatronmedia.com every tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can chime in on the conversation. You can hit us up on iTunes, Roku, Boxes. A lot of you on Roku, Boxes. I just looked at the numbers again. Wow. Uh, Blip TV, YouTube, all that stuff. Please subscribe to us. Leave comments. Star us, whatever that mechanism is over there. We're on, like I said, Facebook, Google+. Plus. Continue the conversation with us on anything that you think we're wrong about or if you're really mad because shachi shut down the internet uh either way hit us up uh shouldn't have held it wrong <laughs> we've been there's been a great chat room entertaining me all night because apparently nobody else can get in there uh nobody <laughs> log off the password has changed says sonic uh riz wants to know why you can't go on, get on the internet um it says thanks chachi and like and mangtoons is frozen on a sad face <laughs> <laughs> so that guys thanks to our awesome chat room you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week awesome, yeah, the